Well, good afternoon, everybody. Matt and Roy back again. Uh, this is just going to be a quick update video. As most of you probably know by now, uh, my mother went to the hospital this morning for uh, knee replacement surgery. Um, this is just going to be a quick update because I've been getting a lot of questions from people on Facebook. How's she doing? How the surgery went? So I figured it'd be easier just to do a quick YouTube video about it. It is now five after two. Uh, she went in the hospital at uh, 5.30 this morning. Uh, she went into the administration office. Um, she was there probably for about a half an hour. Then they took her into the um, prep area around 6.30ish. And as you guys know, it takes a while to prep for a surgery. It actually took about an hour and a half. Um, the actual operation uh, started around 8 a.m. Uh, my dad actually took her in this morning. Um, I went I in around 9. So the surgery started at 8 o'clock. Um, it went to about 9.15. I got there at 9 o'clock, uh, went into the waiting room, and 15 minutes later, the doctor came out, and he said, I just want to let you guys know your uh, loved one is doing fine. And uh, the operation went without a hitch. Um, he did say that her knee was very, very severely um, deteriorated. There was basically no cartilage left. It was bone on bone, and there was a lot of arthritis built up in the knee. He was actually surprised that she wasn't in more pain. As most of you guys who know my mother, she's a pretty tough lady, so uh, I give her kudos for that. He said most people would probably hardly be able to walk, and she hardly felt any pain at all. So once he said that, um, he told us that we would have to wait uh, two hours before we could see her. She had to be in... Um, she had to be isolated. They're a little worried about infection, so she had to be in recovery for two hours. And that was fine. I knew that because that's what happened when my dad had the surgery. Um, so he said, uh, why don't you guys uh, just take off for a while? So we did. Um, neither of us had anything to eat, so we decided to uh, go across the street from the hospital uh, to a very good uh, restaurant called the Hometown Diner. And if you guys live in the Portsmouth area of Virginia, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, we sat down, um, just kind of relaxed, because, you know, it's always a stressful uh, time when you have a loved one in the hospital. Uh, we had a nice big breakfast, kind of just sat there for about an hour. Um, you know, then we left, and she still wasn't quite out yet, so we decided to uh, run some errands. And we got back at the hospital um, right around 11.10, I think it was. And she was in a room by then. Uh, we, first of all, we went to the second floor to the um, administration area. And we asked, um, you know, where, where she was. And they said they'd given her a room. And uh, so we went up to see her. And this is kind of where the funny part starts. As soon as we went in, um, I could tell that she was just barely out, out of the anesthesia. She was awake, um, slightly coherent, but, you know, it was she really wasn't making too much sense at first. I asked her uh, how she was feeling. She was kind of like, uh, I basically she said she wanted ice chips. It was kind of groggy. So we gave her some ice chips. Uh, the nurse came in and asked her how she was feeling, how the pain was. And mom said she didn't have any pain. Of course, they gave her a... Uh, a local, an a local anesthesia, and they also gave her like a general one as well. So uh, she wasn't feeling any pain. And they, they actually give you uh, medication when you have a knee replaced. They actually get, um, give you like a nerve blocker, I think it's called. And um, about a few minutes after we came in, the nurse also, another nurse came in with the uh, knee cooler, which is really cool. It's this little device that they wrap a, uh, I don't know what it is, it's like a little brace around your knee. And there's a pipe that goes to a little pump that has ice water in it. And that circulates and it actually cools your knee off. So, um, you know, post-op, people really need that because it really reduces the pain and reduces the swelling. So we stayed there for about, I'd say a good 30, 40 minutes. You know, well, the nurses came in every once in a while to check on her. They want to check her vital signs. Um, but through the most of it, she was just totally out of it. She would wake up every once in a while and start talking, but you could tell it was a struggle for her to say anything. Um, she made sense maybe 50% of the time. And I'm not surprised because other members of my family that have had uh, surgeries, that's the way anesthesia affects us. We get very, very loopy for at least a good two or three hours. So um, 
I'd say right around uh, noon we decided to leave. She said that she wanted to get some sleep, and I figured that's the best thing for her. So we left the hospital um, and came home. And I've been doing some work around the house since I vacuumed for her. Um, I'm actually doing my bed sheets at the moment. You can see over in the corner there, my, uh, my bed is not made at the moment. And uh, we'll probably go back sometime around 6 or 7, sometime after dinner. And they even told us that she may not be uh, fully awake until late tonight, but we do want to go back because she's my mother and I want to check on her. And that's about it. So the surgery went just fine. There were there was no no problems. Um, it's actually a lot quicker than I expected because when my dad had it done, it, the surgery took two and a half hours. Um, basically, because he had such a big thick knee, the doctor had to kind of pound that thing in there. Um, but my mom's surgery only took an hour and a half. So uh, good deal, good deal. I'm just uh, relieved that it's done. You know, I I, I was a little nervous for because I knew that she's never had a major surgery like this. But um, suffice it to say, the YouTube videos are probably going to be slow for the next few days. Mom's probably going to be coming home either uh, Wednesday morning or Wednesday afternoon, depending on uh, how the doctor feels she's doing. Um, that's about it right now, guys. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this quick update. Um, if anything else happens, I will uh, post another video. But as of right now, She's doing just fine. Please keep her in your prayers, and I will do the same for all of you guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.